Thank you, Bill. Sometimes family, you know, family will be there for you. <laughs> Had to go outside because of you guys. This is content. You have to appreciate it. You have to appreciate it. Hello viewers at home, good evening. Thank you for joining with us. My name is Sharon, reporting live from our studio here on YouTube. We come to you with breaking news. Due to the high request, this video is how you edit with InShots. We have one of our correspondents, Alaye, on the field. Alaye, can you tell us what is happening down there? We'd like our viewers at home to know what is really going on. Okay, thank you, Sharon. Now I'm here live in the streets, and as you can see, people are staying home, staying safe. We have a few vehicles moving around. Oh, and we hope that they are coming from their workplaces. This video is fully equipped with information that you can use to edit with InShot. If you are yet to watch how to film, click the link in the description box. We hope that you're staying safe, you're staying home, you're staying healthy. Thank you so much. Back to you, Sharon. Okay, Alai, thank you for that information. So now we head straight into the video. If you like this, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Thank you for joining with us. Okay, guys, so this video is how to edit with InShots. Um, I got a lot of questions from different people after saying that I wanted my next video to be how I edit with InShot. And if you're interested, you should vote. So I'm going to tackle every feature on InShot and I'm going to focus on video editing for today because I'm guessing most people want to know how to edit for video rather than just pictures and collages and filters and all of that. So let's get straight into the video, shall we? First thing you'll be needing is InShots. You can download InShot from your App Store on any Apple device or from your Google Play Store on any Android device. We're going to record the tutorial for this with a voiceover and I'll show you how that is done. InShot can be used to edit video, photo, and collage. Let's begin with video. I have some drafts, but let's start with something new. You scroll through your gallery to choose what you want to edit. You can even choose from album, so you don't have to keep scrolling. I'm going to edit this video with you guys. So never, ever, ever forget to remove the InShot watermark. If you click on X, you have three options. You can pay for InShot Pro. You can pay to remove it permanently, or you can remove it once. But most people forget, so don't. Oiva. Let's go. First feature is canvas. You click on canvas, you select the footage you want to change canvas for that dimension. You have so many options to choose from and in short makes it easier because you don't know what size to use for a certain app. At least there are options with logos of those apps. Another canvas option is zoom. You can zoom in with the cursor or you can use your fingers to zoom and place it exactly where you want to. I did this throughout most of the videos, so as you keep watching, you see. You can also choose a background. It can be the background of what you're editing. It can be an image from your gallery. It can be a color, any color at all. It can be print. There are so many options to choose from, gradient, pattern. So just play around with it till you see something that you really like. Outside, there was breeze in my hair, in my eye, there was breeze everywhere. 
So I had to keep scrolling through to see where I actually started talking. Then when I find it, I'm going to pause or I'm going to split immediately. Yes, yeah, so I split and then all of this I need the beginning. So I'm going to split again right here, split. So this highlighted section, I'm going to delete because I do not need it. So start again to be sure that I'm not deleting the parts that I need. I'm going to increase the speed. Okay, thank you, Sharon. Yes, now I'm here live at the venue and as you can see, now I'm here live in the streets and as you can see. I made a mistake, I said venue instead of street. So where I tap the microphone, I'm going to split at that exact point and delete that footage and then the video will continue from where it is. We are live in the streets and as you can see, people are staying home. Sometimes you might want to split and delete like I just did, but if you know you're going to make a mistake, it's better you click on the section you want to edit and pull the cursor either closer or further away and it will help you reduce or increase the timeline of that um, footage so it makes it easier for you to edit so you don't have to split and delete and then delete footage and start from the beginning all over again each footage has like this pencil like thing at the bottom that is for transitions if you click on it it opens all these different transitions some of them are free some you have to pay for and I chose the fading. Let me show you what that looks like. This video is fully equipped with information that if you see the fading, it just makes the transition very nicely into the next scene. I hope that you're staying safe, you're staying home, you're staying healthy. Thank you so much. Back to you, Sharon. So back to you, Sharon. <laughs> so I already recorded indoors before i went outside just in case i lost sunlight coming into my window so i'm going to go to my gallery click on the clip and i'm going to trim it to the end where i took over from my correspondent so i'm just going to keep scrolling through the footage and when i find it i'll split and then i'm going to move that beginning to the other side you move footage by holding down for a few seconds and it just automatically highlights it and then allows you to move it about so i moved it to the beginning and then the end where i want i'm going to continue from here see sharon okay i like the transition was in need so i decided to add a transition from the correspondence to back in the studio i played around with different um transitions most of them are for inshot pro you have to pay for that but i'm just showing you like what they look like but for the free trial you have all the basics at the top you can use any of them they are also very very great so don't stress don't spend all your money okay I settled for one of the fade ins to be the transition. I also reduced the speed so it to be seamless like this. Back to you, Sharon. Okay, Alai, thank you for that. I'm done editing. I always edit the clips first, then I insert text. This is for the countdown at the beginning. You can choose the color of text. I chose black and I'm zooming in exactly where I want it to be then i'm going to reduce the border you can use a border or a label and either that you use you can reduce or increase the opacity like now i'm reducing so there's less white and there's more focus on the text that is in black to pk3 twice so i can use it to do two and one in the exact same position so you know a countdown should be short so i'm cutting off the excess by split then delete split delete then every three I edit to a lower number. Then I also add their transitions so they come in from the top and it's really nice. Did you notice the glitch? Yes, that is an effect. So you go to effect, 
you choose from all the options some of them are locked because they are only for pro just like every other feature you can increase or decrease by sliding left or sliding right i'm reducing the glitch because i don't want it to be too much my name is sharon reporting live there is so much you can do with text you can change the color you can change the font you can add a label add a border reduce increase opacity you can make it indented to the left you can make it indented to the right centered and there are other texts available aside from the ones like you see regularly on the app if you click on text you're going to see a little shopping bag you click on that bag there are a bunch of texts available some of them are for only pro but the ones that are free all you have to do is watch an ad and every time you watch an ad when the ad is done that font saves to like all your list of text to save time if there's a font you've used previously you click on the clock and then you can choose that font style again and edit it to what you want. Beside text, we have sticker. There are a bunch of stickers and most of them are childish as you can see. But if you use them properly, they will look a little bit less tacky. You can get more stickers the same way you can get more text by watching ads on the InShot app and then the stickers save automatically like those white strokes you've been seeing me use to emphasize different features yes those white strokes are stickers and i got them for free by watching an ad so this is how i added the breaking news i split that end because i didn't need it it was already past what when i said breaking news so i had to take it out so i'm playing back to see that it comes out exactly how i want so yeah for music music feature is close to canvas and sticker you can also extract the audio from a video in your gallery so you see i click on the globe footage and then extract the audio from it and put it onto the alai tube and onto the globe so both of them share the audio duplicated it so it goes both ways i cut off a bit of it so it flows seamlessly like it was one long song I actually extracted the audio you can also edit it by clicking on the sound and editing it by reducing or increasing with the arrows on the side if you don't want to split and delete you can also use the music for adding a track an effect or recording this is a voiceover so you can record what you want to see if you don't like it you restart then when you eventually like what you recorded you click the tick you can edit it by splitting deleting by reducing on both sides i also always reduce the volume of the clips so the voiceover is always a more superior sound you can also add music of any choice what's poppin See the song i want then i go to share and i send it to InShot directly copy to InShot. receive so now you're going to check your music again check tracks you see imported music scroll through i've imported so many different songs so sneaky snitch click use that song to whatever part you want to use you can do this by reducing with the arrows on both sides you can reduce it to any size at all you can reduce the volume you can fade in fade out or you can take those out of the options um you can also split and delete my favorite thing to do because i don't know it saves me more time any tool you use text music sticker you can lift it by holding on and moving it about there are other songs you can also use there's songs from InShot. you can use songs from your itunes you can use effects there are so many options you can even buy songs
you can see there's so much you can do with InShots, flip, reverse, increase the canvas, change the sound, use the audio from something else, do a voiceover. This was just to show you the other things you probably didn't know. And when you're done saving, you can share it to any platform. I hope this video was helpful. If you haven't seen my last video, how to film with only your smartphone, link is in the description box. You can check my other videos, day in my life, mom tag. I remember my mom tag when I said that my mom's business was in the works and when it launches, I was going to tell you guys, it has launched. So now you have an excuse. I know a lot of you watch the mom tag to put her Instagram. Be sure to place your orders for bowls of soup, bowls of stew, with any protein of your choice. She has fruit smoothies, juices, and snacks. All healthy, natural, homemade goodness. Don't forget to place your orders. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications so every time I upload a new video, you're one of the first to know about it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.